Hi, this is Ray, the steel roller. Welcome to the new Tippens rolling technology. A twin stand stickle belt. Liquid steel is being transported to the ladle metallurgy furnace from the blast furnace. For final refining. Now the ladle is pouring liquid steel to the tandies and to the casting machine. The slab caster is being controlled by operators to ensure the proper flow of the liquid steel to the caster's run. Now the slab is being cut by a high pressure gas cutting machine. And it is being loaded by a huge robotic charging machine of Steinwerke. The slab will be heated up to the desired rolling temperature. Now the slab is ready for rolling. The slab will pass to the descaling system in order to remove the primary scales. Primary scales must be removed prior entering the rolling now. After the descaling process, the centering guides will square and center the slabs prior hitting the roll bite for the first pass. At the first pass, the vertical edger is set to the required setting for the ordered weight of the seed product. This vertical edger is used only during the early reversal phases. That's the second pass. And at the end of the third pass, the tail end of the strip will be cut by the pencil shear in order to remove the de deformities after shearing the tail end. The side guides will center the strip before hitting the roll bites for the next pass. That's the male operator's pulpit run by a single operator. Now, here comes the port pass. The, wave. the apron arms comes down and the pencil knives will come to ambush position. The strip, strip tilts out the mill, the pencil will close to down position and the pencil shear initiates the cut. And the apron arms goes up while the strip is being pitched towards the mill and the pencil will goes up once it hits the roll bite or metal in mill. And here we go, the last pass, the finished product. It will pass through the finishing or laminar cooling for finishing temperature requirement and coiling temperature requirement. And also you can see the graphic display of the mill and the strip profile of the strip while being processed. After the coiling at the up coiler, the coil will be unloaded from the mandrel by the automatic coil car. This coil car will station to the strapping and bonding machine. After the strapping and bonding, the coil will be weighed to check the actual weight of the product using the load cell attached to the coil car. Now the coil car is positioned to the conveyor for stenciling and marking. This robotic uh, machine will first 
measure the distance of the area to be marked. And it will start spraying all the details of the coal or the finished product. The heat number, the coal number, and the size of the finished product. And these are the products that we were able to roll during the performance test. 1.5 millimeter, 1.8 millimeter, and 2.0 millimeter. And during the performance test, the mill demonstrated that it is capable to roll 1.0 millimeter. And we also rolled chicken plates during the performance test. Now the coals are stored in the coal yard and loaded the coal car for delivery to the downstream industries. My special thanks to the whole team of the Tip and Spell Services who participated in the tuning up of the two stand stickle mill and the pencil shear designed by John Thomas. This is Ray saying thank you for watching the new Tippins rolling technology. Bye for now. Have a good day. And me, me we have more mails to come.